Hey friends, I am here to share some sad news about the loss of a couple of great figures in the developmental biology community, uh, people who had a lot of influence on me. So I'm going to talk a bit about them and I'm going to recommend some of their books because they had a huge influence on me and they can have a huge influence on you as well. Uh, so the first one I want to mention is John Tyler Bonner, who recently died. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but uh, he was a huge name in the cellular slime mold community and did a lot of great work in that field. He's an he was an extremely well-respected scientist. To me, though, what was most important is, although I've ne I had never met, met him, and that seems like such a terrible thing for si a guy who was so important in my life, uh, is that he wrote a book called On Development. When I was a wee little larva going off to college for the first time, um, I attended the, uh, the De DePaul University in Indiana. And, you know, in entry-level biology courses aren't that exciting. They're kind of dry and they tend to give you just the basics. And so I went prowling about looking for a good reading and at the DePaul bookstore, I discovered this little book called On Development. And it was like a thunderbolt as far as I was concerned. It's a book that gives this grand overview of a singular perspective on developmental biology. Bonner spoke specifically about his work on slime molds. So the first thing you get is, is a strongly cellular focus. So looking at the lowest possible levels of, of how things work. Uh, his, his work focused on life cycles. So it gave me a very different perspective on life histories of organisms. And also he really emphasized in a way that's become increasingly important to me is that all of the information to build an organism is not encoded in the genome, but there's an immense cytoplasmic component that's extremely important in shaping development. So he talked a lot about that in his book, um, and that stuck with me. It opened new vistas for understanding how biology worked. Uh, it's, it's an older book. It's kind of hard to find nowadays. I did notice that Amazon has some used copies for sale, and I'll include a link down below so that you can find those and look them up. The other fellow that we've lost, another tragedy, is that Rudy Raff has died. Uh, I have met Rudy Raff a couple of times, and he always impressed me. He was a very good-humored fellow, very enthusiastic, great to talk to. But where he really shaped my life is... Uh, when I was in graduate school, or shortly after graduate school, when I was starting to think very seriously, very deeply about uh, developmental biology, uh, I found his book, um, actually this one right here, I still got it. So, The Shape of Life. Uh, this is an amazing book. And why it was so important for me is that you know, I'd, I'd been, I was a graduate student, and then I was a postdoc in developmental biology, and what I'd often done is read deeply into the literature. So you read all these little pieces in papers all over the place, um, and then it's tricky to bring them all together and comprehend everything. And it's, it's also very tricky because as a working scientist, what you tend to do is focus most of your effort on reading the specific papers in your narrow little branch of the field. So where Rudy Raff was absolutely critical for my development was he's a guy who brings it all together. So that book, which I'll also include a link to down below, uh, was phenomenal in tying together all these stories and telling you where the important bits and pieces were, integrating all these developmental stories into a whole, um, and also because this book was really influential in shaping the whole field of Evo Devo. So if you're an Evo Devo person, or 
evo devo, evo devo curious. You should get this book and read it. Um, it's it's a little bit more a little bit more technical, a little bit more detailed than most of the po popular science you'll find on the bookshelves down at your Barnes and Noble or whatever. Uh, but it's also not hard to read. He was a good writer. Told a really really good story in this book, so I recommend that one highly as well. So it's a huge loss. So we've lost these two giants in the field. It breaks my heart because they did such influential work and that they mattered so much to me in my life. Uh, I'll also mention that there's a couple of other books you should read, two other books, because one of the great things these two scientists did is they both wrote autobiographies. They wrote books about their life and when you read them, you'll discover that their lives are entirely tangled up with their research. So um, <clears throat> John Tyler Bonner has a book out called uh, Lives of a Biologist. Uh, look it up. It's, it's a nice, simple historical account uh, where he comes from, how he came to think that certain things are very important. Uh, if you're a budding scientist, I really recommend this kind of book because it will help you see how other scientists came to be who they are. Uh, Rudy Raff has one too. It's called Once We All Had Gills. And it's primarily an autobiography, but really he does thoroughly interleave all of evolution and his biology into the history of his life. So yeah, you should read that one too to see how, see how these careers actually shape how people think. So very, very important to read. Um, I'll include a link also to um, uh, a short article by Matt Heron on Free Thought Blogs about uh, J.T. Bonner. Really, Bonner was everywhere. Cell biologists loved him. Molecular biologists loved him. Developmental biologists loved him. He was all everywhere. Um, so lots of people are heartbroken right now. And I'll also include to Rudy Raff's memorial page, uh, which describes his influence. And again, Rudy was Rudy was one of those people that everybody loved to hang around with. He was he was a hilarious guy. He was fun to talk to, and he was so danged enthusiastic that uh, that's the kind of scientist I think who can make a great impact on young people's lives. So we need more like him. Anyway, go go read about him. Uh, go look up these books. You can you might be able to find them at the library. University libraries for sure would have them. Uh, and buy them. Yeah. I have copies sitting on my shelf or on my Kindle. Uh, it's well worth the effort to look into this, especially if you are at all interested in developmental biology. Both of them were making major impacts on this field. Okay. What a terrible reason to make a video. How sad. Anyway, uh, now you know, there's there's these two people who were really important in my intellectual development and they are gone now.